Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Sultan Mocha Lover. In which right now we have an event on screen with Egypt defeated. We have brought Egypt to its knees and restored Ottoman rule to the area. Now we must decide whether to be gracious and allow them to retain autonomy while restricting their land and power, or whether to rule all of Egypt directly and face a possibility of rebellions. Well, we're already going to have rebellions anyways, and our army isn't looking too good, especially as our population is changing by about 700, really by about 1,000 every single day. Um, I'd like to do that, and Hejaz gets to inherit Hejaz, which is cool and all, but I kind of like ruling directly. Four more infamy isn't cool. But since I'm already saves coming literally right now, um, I was saves coming just because I want because you guys recommended we should probably spend more time down here in Indonesia. So I'm trying to justify on these guys over here. It takes about a month left, and we get 23 prestige. We can really use more prestige right now. So I gotta choose that one. Oh, look at this, the Holy City, Tanzimat reforms. What is this? Mecca is the center of all Islam. To hold it is to stand above all others and prove to them that the fate of all Islam lies in our hands. Ooh, until 1980, basically. Okay, so in the game files, I made sure that not, instead of 1935, 1936 is the end date, I changed it to 1980, and I haven't changed it back since then. Gave more prestige, farm size, and pot notes as it goes down, as well as more immigrant attraction. That'll be good. Hopefully, your population will not continue going down. Regardless, let's do the Tanzimat reforms. Tanzimat, Turkish for reorganization, was a series of reforms enacted by the Ottoman state during the latter half of the 19th century, designed to counteract the rising tides of nationalism among the empire's vast and varied ethnic minorities. The reforms aimed at integrating the various populations under the common banner of Ottomanism, by promoting the Ottoman state as an alternative to the ethnicity-based nation-states that many of the radicalized minorities within the state were at the time seeking to establish and by granting increased representation and autonomy within the state. Well, the Tanzimat, while it's ultimately unsuccessful in preventing the decline of the Ottoman state, it can nevertheless be argued that the reforms at least postponed it. And we already have all the things here already done, and then we should get Ottoman land code until for about a year or so. Plus 5% farming efficiency, Christian oppression will be removed from the Ottoman Empire, as well as the Giza political form will have open borders, which actually are, we already have open borders since people are leaving, and Palenage, and we might become a little more liberal. Also, we're going to select that. And panage. Actually, what is panage? Let's look at reforms. Also, I already outlawed slavery. We did get another reform, so I just I already outlawed it. It's it's 1845. And actually, I was looking into the history of slavery in the Ottoman Empire. It's kind of cool, interesting, cool and interesting that it was officially like through legislative means, like it was explicitly stated that slavery no longer exists in like the 1960s. Obviously, the decades beforehand, it was pretty much removed. There might have been some illegal slave slave trading, but even before the 1960s, like it was pretty much for the most part, gone, so it's kind of interesting reading about it. Uh, but yeah, slavery's outlawed right now, and let's go and choose this. Why not? Cool. And peonage. Ooh, look at that. Revanchism is 1%. 10% for plurality. Peonage, ruling upper house. Actually, and the people really, really want public meetings, so we'll probably do it down that way. We have open borders. We got free press, which means we're probably going to have a lot of problems <laughs> with uh, people. Uh, let's see, oppressed religion minority still until... For about a year, it's not bad. CV generation cast speed increase, which is great. And then slave demographics, which we no longer have slaves, which is interesting. Wow, we've got a lot of different religions here. Wow, Oriental Orthodox versus Eastern Orthodox versus anim Animist. Now, currently, ooh, what happened here? Oh, it's because we just integrated these. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. I love it. Uh, before we go on, though, because I do not want to forget the comments. I want to address a few comments. Let's see. Actually, we got one. We got one infantry already, one... Two, three, four, five. Then we need one cavalry, and then one, two, three. There you go. Cool. Because I already have one guy up here. Let's see comments before uh, we sl slip on over to us taking out Sulu. We could have used HFM or historical flavor mod when playing this. I'm using HPM historical project mod for this campaign just because HFM runs slower. It's a little bit more crazy and more challenging, and I'm not that great of a Victory 2 player, but I figured HM HPM just because I'm a little more used to it. Uh, let's see. Oh, also, I put people on the thumbnail that ruled during the time that we're playing, so the guy on the thumbnail was the guy that ruled, at least from yesterday's video and maybe even up into this video. I can't exactly remember. Maybe it was Abdul Masad, I think, the, the Sultan. Let's see. He apparently that guy ended slavery in 1847 or so ish. Someone recommends later on we play as Egypt, even though we just literally integrated them. I will play as Egypt, I promise that. I don't know when, but I will play as them sometime. Other comments include that we should take over all of Arabia, which is probably a really good idea. Take over all of Arabia, as well as Central Asia. That's only, that seems like a really good idea. Obviously we have to fight Russia sometime, 
I think currently I'm actually allied to the Prussians, which is nice. Very good. Uh, Cruiser Relations, why not? Because we can. Also, I asked you guys where we should go next, and you guys recommended we should head to Indonesia, which we're just going to continue with what we're doing. And if possible, we might get to Bone, maybe not. If not, we can maybe get down to the Balinese Sunda Islands, which would not be too bad. So, And let's see, I've outlawed slavery, and someone recommends we ally Japan. Maybe eventually, you know, I'm not opposed to it, maybe we will. But I'll see you guys in just a little bit when we're ready to go to war with Sulu. Alright everyone, so we don't quite have the justification done yet, but... There's a lot of things going on. First of all, we lost the effects of the Islamic law. Research points, tax efficiency, political awareness, literacy, impact on Khan, suppression, education gain. We had it twice. We got the rise of the Badar Khan. We had no sooner reached the house of Yaqub Rais than a cry of the Bey has come spread throughout the village. The village was in the greatest alarm at a threatened invasion of Badar Khan, the district of Tikhoma. Which had escaped the former massacre was now the object of his fanatical vengeance. Bader Khan is a young and ambitious ruler of the Emirate of Bhutan. During the war with Egypt, Turkish troops were preoccupied with invading Egyptian troops and were unable to suppress his revolt. In reaction to the modernizing and centralizing efforts of Sultan Mahmud II, they were antagonized by the Kurdish feudal chiefs. As a result, he extended his authority up to Mahabad, with Kurdish tribes pledging fealty to him. He adopted the fanatical tenets of Darwishes and was encouraged to undertake mass slaughters against Assyrians and Yazidis in the territory he controlled. The great powers are outraged by his treatment of the Christian populations and are demanding that we intervene immediately. We will not coerce in action. We get more prestige. We release them and in our alliance. You, oh, that's you bide our time. We release them. We were going to release them. We go to war with them. We get the service of General Badr Khan. Persia would not, would not like that one. Uh, I'm just going to go to war with them. I'm going to do something now. Which we should do okay. Oh, they. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of Kurds around here, but I guess I'm calling you guys down then. I'm gonna, I was already like raising up our budget for our army anyways, since I was going to go to war with the folks in Sulu, so... You know, things happen, I suppose. I'm going to keep that kind of medium. I'm going to keep it kind of low. We don't have that much money, honestly, so... Alright, and we do have an army down here. I mean, it's not very good. But we'll, we'll, we'll take them down, see what we can do, you know? And honestly, at this point, if I get found out, I mean, it's already 90%. we got a week left. I don't really care that much. So, hey, we're fifth in the world for prestige, which is pretty nice. Also, and there's, there's one more comment that I forgot. Someone wants me to contest the Dutch. I think, I forget if I say that, or, say that or not. Fight the Dutch or, you know, beat up the Dutch a little bit. We will eventually, like, don't worry, eventually we will. There we go. Oh, we didn't get found out. Nice. Um, demand concessions. Let's go and do that. There we go. They don't even have an army, so I'm not really too concerned about that, for at least for now, so... And this is going to really hurt our army over here, which really is going to suck. But we're looking pretty good. And we're making another army, so this will be very nice. You know what? Just stay there. Just go and siege them down. Then I'll see, take these guys down to Serxa. How do we pronounce it? So. Oh! Oh, God, yeah, there was this thing. We had the event. We could have taken... Who is this guy? hat i humayun Imperial Reform Edict. Huh. <clears throat> There was something like centralize the Kurdish states, but I guess it's a little late to do that. I'll let you guys do that there. Alright, and oh, it's gonna, it's gonna take quite a while to get down there, so. What's we at war with? Just these two? That's not bad. Bone, not so much. Prussia, we still like you guys, that's good. And they don't really like us that much. Just continue increasing relations. They're number one in the world for military, so, hmm. And that'll be good. Costing us the most here, actually. Uh, give me a bit list. Yeah, our army's looking really bad. Let's see. Total expenses, military spending, national stockpile purchases. That's what's really chewing us up right now. So, let's see. Artillery. Did I? I did automate that, so. Can go. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a bit much. Let's go come down there and do that. That should be a little better now. Guns, automate. Just want to make sure I automated all this stuff. Oh, I did not automate clothes. Oh, wow. That's so many you need. Cool. We got them done. Hakari. Hakara. Shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, that money. Oof. Not looking good. Oh, Kiva. White piece, white piece. We do got to go to war with Persia eventually, though, so. Oh, are they fighting Bot Oh, they're fighting Botan as well, huh? Alright, well, whatever. 
romanticist art. Huh? Very cool. Now we could sphere the Persians, or I could just take them over. I kind of want to just take them over, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. Good. Erbil. Oh, so I just want to take over all these areas. Zulu. Yes. Thank you. Nice. Beautiful. Um. And you know what? Look at that. We ended slavery, and our population's gone back up. So. 22.9% of our population is only Turkish. 17.4% is Misri. Not bad. Not great. Not great. But not bad. At this point, I think we can probably lower the spending at least a little bit. It's kind of hurting us for now. Terrace we could lower as well, but we're going to keep them high for now. And what are we going to do next? Meetings allowed. People really don't like it if we don't do this enough, so... And they're they're really adamant about it. Oh, well, this is in his panage. Instead of serfdom, panage. Huh. Debtor's prison. We get more education efficiency, immigrant attraction, poor savings, bankruptcy? I'm going to go with this one. And then maybe I'll give them public meetings allowed. Maybe. Oh, that's looking, that's looking a little better. It's not look, still not looking great. Uh, how are our bureaucrats doing? Not bad, not bad. Almost 80% there. And then over here we have almost 75%. Great, you guys did a good job. Oh, this is killing my army. And we got to make sure we're not too weak just because you never know if Russia might just say, Hello! You never know. I can spend just a slight bit less. All right, so what what, what, are we, what are we buying that's costing us so much? National stock about purchases still, huh? I don't think any of this I'm, I'm really buying. I, I mean, it's automated, so it's automatically going to... Oh, hello. This is what we're doing. Cement? Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Ah, Clipper Convoys. There we go. That should help us out a little, quite a bit. Yeah, that definitely helps out. Less than a... Oh! They peaced out with them over there. Interesting. Interesting. Come back down to Basra. And you guys, try to get your strength back. It, I know you guys, look, you're lacking a lot right now. Well, we almost have idealism, which is good. We want to get chemistry next, probably. As much as I love education, I think we'll go with chemistry. Just because... We need more population growth. And we're doing okay. A cur population is 35 million so far. 22.9, 22.94. Not too bad. Uh, intervene eventually. Yeah, probably eventually. Hey, 22.95. Not bad. And this will take a while. That's alright, though. Nice. That research is done. Is there anywhere I can save money? I can maybe raise that up. That might actually hurt us, though. Alright, so we got cultural stuff. I think I did say I want medicine. Yeah, more population growth. I've got to go with that one. And then maybe experimental railroads. How are we looking out for this army here? It's not bad. It's not great, obviously. We're still making stuff. And what's this taking forever for? Artillery? Artillery just costs so much, man. So much. Trying to wage war costs so much. So much. And is this going up or down? We just have more infamy. So we got... Oh, yeah, we did get more infamy from... Doing this decision. Hey, we were positive for a few days, maybe a day or two. Oh my goodness, it's taking so long. Wow. Armenians make a majority, but there's still so many Kurds and Turks and Assyrians. Woof. Woof. Uh, oh, there we go. Acquire. At oh, yeah. Annex them, yeah. We'll keep everything we've gained. Great. Not bad. I kind of like that. Now, I do want to do one thing here. Population density is not bad. Oh, they have a lot of soldiers down here. Good. Oh, more importantly, let's go ahead and keep increasing relations with these guys. And with the Persians. Oh, Spain is below us, which is good. And maybe the UK. Oh, UK really likes it. Because we got to be careful, because eventually the Crimean War will spawn. Which is not very good. Let's keep high relations with the French as well. Now, I do want to see culture. So, we got a lot of Turks around here. Some Greeks... Oh, this is a giant mess. This is really just a giant mess. Who do we have as accepted populations? No. Hmm. <laughs> uh, mm. Alright, whatever. Whatever. We'll be fine. I am tempted to do bone. 
Establish a protectorate? We'll probably establish a protectorate, because I want to get all these islands under us as fast as we possibly can. Oh, I did say I want to get these guys, and there's a lot of population down there. And there's not that much population around here either, but... Hmm. 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 That's so much population. But well, you have all types of different art potential RGOs down here. I'm not sure what is that good. What are we importing? Livestock, tea, and fabric. We do get dyes. Do we have any dyes naturally? Not in high demand, of course. Supply, demand, actually bought. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end. Can I actually just... It, it would make it look nicer if we cut these guys out of the picture. It really would. Just get them out of the picture. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll probably do this since they have also precious metals. So let's go and do that. And I'll see you once we have the war justification ready to go. All right, everyone. So we're not quite there with the justification done for Kalimantan, but we've got the Treaty of Ezrum of 1846. The dear Khan has been defeated and was deported to Crete to live the rest of his life in exile. Kurdish autonomy has been revoked and the rebels have lost any hope of autonomy. Tensions have risen between the Ottoman Empire and the Qajar Persia after the order was restored to the Kurdish areas. Border conflicts are now a common occurrence, driving up jingoist sentiment in both countries. Wishing to protect their interests in the region, the UK and the Russian Empire have intervened to find a diplomatic solution to the issues that plague the area. The proposed treaties include nine articles treating various issues from territorial compromises to the status of pilgrims, forever establishing the Western concepts of nation and borders in the region. Order has been restored, or... We will do with this in our own way. We get infamy, and purge requires that all cores cast his ballot on the Ottoman Empire. So I actually tried to do this earlier and tried to record this. If I click on the second option, Persia, both Persia and the Ottoman Empire ourselves, we do not get the acquire all cores cast his ballot. Um, probably just because we don't have cores on each other. So <laughs> that's pretty much why. Uh, as you can see, there's Kurdistan, Baban, Iraq. But what is that? Turkmenli? So, whatever, you know, we don't have cores on each other, so we, order's been restored. I just want to show you that little event, because I think that's kind of cool. But I'll see you when or next. Alright, everyone, so we still don't have our war justification done. As you can see, as we have, uh, well, 53% of the way there. But, really, if you look up at the flag up here, Prussia wants us, France wants us our, their ally, to help them in a little conflict with the Austrians. Now, we have to think about this. On one hand... Have a good war. We're still justifying on these guys in which we could get found out, but we're only halfway there, so we get a max of a little bit less than 7.5 infamy, which is not good. I mean, it's still feasible, but if we go to, go to war against Austria, they're not that weak, but I don't want to lose Prussia as an ally, even though there's no guarantee that they'll keep the alliance with us once they're done with Austrians. I think I just have to keep Prussia as an ally just because Russia has France, and I need a great power ally, because the UK... Oh, actually, they're at war with, with Austrians, too. You know what? We're joining them. I've already gone ahead and uh, raised up our budget a little bit, even though we're still kind of losing money. I'm pulling over the soldiers right here to get these guys over here, just so we have something around here. And I'm still trying to finish this army up close to us. So, those guys, those guys will come over. These guys will come over as well. My main goal is just to distract the Austrians as much as possible. Actually, can I call my allies? Yes. If these guys get injured a little bit, you know, that's okay. Is Serbia allied with us? I don't think the Serbs really care for us that much. There's Montenegro. Um, do we have any other allies around here? Persia doesn't really care for us, so. That'll be alright. Mission to Kalimantan. Slow it down. Just. Oh, actually, we do you guys down here too. That's not bad. Alright, so we've got two armies here. I'm going to wait till the first of the month to actually use these guys. Because, well, they don't have enough morale, so. Kataro? Oh, that's just nothing about infantry and artillery, huh? Well, let's head on in, boys. I kind of want to bait them and see if they'll attack us. So I'll have you... Uh, well, sort of. Actually, you guys come over here. You guys swap places, and you'll siege that stuff down faster. They're sieging us down. Hope. Oh, that, that hurts. Five infamy. Oh, that hurts. But, you know, we'll deal with that. I can deal with that. Siege us down if we can. Obviously, we're getting siege down here with... With the Italian states, actually. With the Italian states, we're going to war. Maybe we'll call in our Italian buddy as well. No, we can't. God dang it. We're not a leader, but whatever. Tensions dissipate, so be it. Oh, and our allies have come in too, so that's not too bad. And Bosnia. Bosnia is not that valuable. Maybe they have a factory over there too, but not that valuable, right? 
right? Cool. And I have also you guys coming over here too, so that's good. Um, okay, Russia's gonna... Oh, what's going on? Humiliate Austria? Ru okay. Uh, anything else around here? A lot of military access. Destiny, Destiny's in the war as well. So be it, so be it. What really matters is as long as I can distract them longer, because the Ru Russians are doing pretty darn well up there. Get a piece of territory around here. Get this army... Other army close enough to us. And we'll do okay. And yeah, they're taking over Bosnia. Yeah, Sarajevo. Well, whatever. It's only Bosnia. As long as it's not the actual proper part of our Turkish core majority region, I'm kind of okay with whatever. Now we gotta be ready. I wanna keep an eye on these guys. Where's this army? What are, you, what are you doing? Get over here. I was expecting them sooner, but. You know, they never showed up. This army is actually somewhat feasible to be used, so. I really don't like this war. Oh, don't tell we're also with the Spanish. Ooh. Oh, hello. Well, I guess the UK did invade, and they're doing a pretty good job with them. They're allied with the Dutch. Are we fighting the Dutch? I hope not. How are we looking down here? No. Oh, they actually have an army down here, huh? All right. Not bad. I do want to start taking out some of these states down here as well, because actually, this place has, well, I guess grains, but this place has coffee, and I like coffee, and a lot of population. And we're going to need a lot, a lot of population, even though our population is still growing, which is very nice. Mm. The Brits are showing up, which is nice. I don't want to risk this. I really don't. 18,000, 15,000. This is not good. Okay, I need you to move up. Come on. You have 30,000 soldiers here. They really don't like us, which is fine with me. I don't really care about them. Uh, Not too bad over here. Oh boy, they're attacking. We're moving in. Immediately move in. Help out the Brits. There we go. And I really don't want to get into any conflict like this. I just want to take out, you know, uncivilized miners. That's all I want, man. Oh. The white beast out. Nothing's nothing. Cut Austria. Oh, God. We're really going to be cutting down Austria, which is not bad. Oh. There we go. Nice. Won that battle. Let's go and win another battle and start saving our places here. Very good. And let's go and go to war with these guys. Newspapers. New Chatel fears are much, huh? Not bad, not bad. Alright. Hey, not bad. Now, if we could win over here, that'd be great. They might be slightly dug in, maybe, but we're going to reinforce it anyway, so. Good. We're doing okay. Especially against Modena. Nice. Come on up here. Actually, everyone come up here. Oh, come on. Oh, well, okay. That works for us. Also, we might have got another reform. Uh, I think we allowed public meetings. I, I forget if I showed you this or not, but public meetings are allowed, so. Beautiful. All right, let's put, move you guys down here, and I'll move you down here. Foca. Get our territory back. That'd be nice. I don't necessarily want anything, so. Oh, crap. Uh, get down here, guys. Well... They're doing okay. Still got quite a while. We just we need to make more money. Wow. All right, so we lost a couple guys. That's fine. Help them out up here. You guys. Oh, the birds are doing well. Live no. Happy 1847, everyone. Happy 1847. Good. Oh, and the Brits are moving in. Oh, what's going on? Anything here interesting? Oh, white peace. Alright, well, hopefully the Brits have been able to land even more soldiers around here, so that would be actually pretty darn nice. K keep an eye on these guys, because they might attack our 7,000 stack right there, which wouldn't be very good for us, but whatever, you know. Oh, what's going on? White piece, alright, looking not too bad. It, it definitely helps when, oh, even our guys are help winning over there, when you get the Brits, the Prussians, and the Ottomans all to take out Austria. I hate to be them right now. Yeah. Great. We only got found out with five infamy. And that, looking, that looks so much better. That would be best if these guys weren't here. But we have two high relations. And I don't want to piss them off. We're not allied with the UK. If I was allied to the UK, then maybe. But they don't want an alliance. And we'll start justifying Oh, again on people. We might still be able to get Bali, actually. Or even Bone. 
I actually would really like Bowen, but we'll start to find them once this war is over, just so I can... It's much easier to save scum that way. Yes, save scumming, yes, yes, yes. Uh, not bad. Good. Moving on up, because we're going to attack right here next. God, our military's not looking good. Anyways, can we build up more soldiers? Yes, we can. I love Africa. Nice. Alright, guys, good luck. Oh. Oh. Um, we're, st we're still at war, yeah? In the war? Okay. Um, who declared war upon who? No one wants to aid Austria. What's going on? One occupations, occupations, occupations. Those are nice. All right. I mean, at this point, I don't think Austria can really do too much. At this point, yeah, it's it's not looking good for them. I mean, I guess probably between us and all the Rus Russian, German miners, especially the British, they still have some armies down here, but they're looking so weak. We're gonna follow them. Uh, Saxony. Are they white pieced out? Uh, do man reparations from Bavaria? I don't think there's anything we can demand from them, right? Oh, hey, they're third. Of, they did mobilize. They're 69th now, so that's not too bad. But there's nothing really here I really care about. 1.2 ah, reparations from. Ah, that's not bad. I could actually use a little bit of money. Free. Oh, free allied cores, Moldavia. But that's a little bit more. In, 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 I don't mind reparations. Reparations is okay with me, as long as we get them. I got. They have a bigger fleet than us. Nice. Actually, we lost way more guys than they did, so that's not good. Right, so, anyways, you guys come over here. <laughs> oh man, we have only a thousand, little more than a thousand guys there. Man, we're really looking hard for money. Sorry, guys, you got to do it. And already decreased that too. Come on, when can we peace out with this stupid war? Yeah, that's bankrupting me. I can't really do much about this, so I gotta lower spending. There's no no way about it. That helped out a little bit. Come on, guys, come on, peace out, peace out, peace out, peace out. I will manually peace out if I have to. But I really don't want to do that. I definitely don't want to do this either. But we have to do that too. Go all the way low. Go a little lower. Because I can't afford this. Oh, come on. Hmm, someone died. Baden, white piece. Uh, Persia. Uh, I'm not really sure if we should do that or not. In the meantime, let's go ahead and do this as well. I mean, these guys are doing great. Oh, they just took up Vienna. That's nice. Good job, guys. Oh, the Brits are doing well. Pole is ours, which is good. We won the battle. Hey, we made a few dollars. I mean, a few pounds, I should really say. Oh, no, no. Not through Ljubljana. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So there we go. What happened? Humiliate, cut down size, humiliate. Do we not get reparations? Seriously? Oh, we didn't even get it, did we? That's so bad. That's so scummy of the UK. Holy cow, that is so scummy. At least if we get some procedure, it looks like we might have, so, but that that is scummy. Okay, I don't trust the UK. Screw the UK, or, yeah, it was definitely the UK who did that, just because, uh, the Prussians couldn't do something like that. I'm gonna put you guys actually over here next, to work on you guys. You guys go up to there, just in case. You all, come on down. You're actually not looking great. But I'm gonna leave you here, just in case, and you can do that. And I'm gonna get rid of you guys, just because you cost a lot. Oh god, this is not looking good. <laughs> Let's see, for your draft, I'm gonna, what do people want? They want pro-military. Or landed voting. Well, go stay controlled. Alright, well, we got to start making a lot more money. But, here's what we're gonna do. 
<laughs> the Tukular Empire is here. Nice. I love the Tukular Empire. I think I'll probably end up going to war with these guys down here in Bali, maybe? That's just so much population. We can wait for Ethiopia since no one else is really able to get down there. If I could get Bone, they only have 5 military score. We should do relatively okay, even though the guys aren't looking good. So we'll probably do this. And we'll probably go to war with Bone next. So I'll see you in the last time in this episode in just a little bit. Alright, everyone. And finally, finally, we can go ahead and go to war with Bone. It's been, it's been taking us almost the entire episode to get down here. Through the, through, through the wars and the saves coming. Oh my goodness, so much saves coming, but it is what it is. And Saxe has gone back to Austria, in which Austria is now feeling a little better. They're still 7th in the world. We're right above them because of the prestige thing. That's literally the only thing that's keeping us above Austria. Even though we have a bigger military, I mean, Austria's going to get a bigger military eventually, so I'm really not too worried about that. We've been doing much better on our money for now. Oh my goodness, so much better on money. And now it's dropped again. And we've got some railroads too, which is great because I like the railroads. And actually, we've gotten quite a bit of um, things done here, like medicine. We've got combat medicine. We've got genetics for heritage. We've got stuff against malaria. I'm not going to even say that word. Oh, maybe I will. Prophylaxis. Prophylaxis! I can read! Uh, but let's go ahead and do some educational stuff again. I think that'd be good to do. It's always good to educate your people, even if they want to kill you. Well, maybe it's not good then. But hey, whatever. I'm also was improving our relations with the Russians. Yeah, we can't really afford wars against other great powers. We really can't. We're not. We're really bare. We're a shell of a great power. You know what? I think it's time to go ahead. I think it'll be okay. Just go on there. Thank you. Actually, you know what? We'll go to war as soon as December first hits because I want to lower our infamy as much as possible. So that'd be nice. Hey, look! Aerial bacteria and antiseptic principle. More population growth. I love it. Let's go to go to war. They only have five military scores, so it they might be really, really good. But we'll see what happens. And this is so connected. Yeah, I mean, actually, off-screen. These guys actually wanted an alliance. So but I'm like, uh, Dutch. They're allied with the Spanish. And Java and Siak and Tidor and Jambi. Just, we're really not ready for any sort of war like that, you know? Do this so they can help get over there. Ooh, liberal support actually went down. Did I do any reforms? I don't think I did any reforms, no. I wonder where their armies are at. Who's really green over here? Moloch and Molochus? Rebellion against Ottoman. Oh. Well, that's not good. Why? Just because we're at war? Just pu putting down other peoples? So? Now we have, do have to siege down everybody here, which really kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, but we are building up more soldiers back in the mainland, so. Allo the Netherlands. Cool. Excellent. Yes. Almost 10, roughly 10% 10 of our population can read. Not bad. Not bad. It's almost 1850, but hey, you know, whatever. Whatever. We'll probably go to Lubuk next, because, man, these guys are looking so bad. They must really hate it here. I mean, I'd, I'd imagine if you were sent from Europe or Asia, you gotta go to some some Southeast Asian Oceania island and be like, siege them down. It's so hot down there, I bet. It's gotta so be so not cool, I guess we'll say. Well, even Belgium's doing pretty darn well. But Russia, buddy, yeah. Oh, hello. Now they have less morale, which is good. And all they have is infantry, not even cavalry, and we do have artillery, so. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Russian... Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I forgot about this. 1848, Hungary tried to rise up, right? And this is how we got Austria-Hungary. No longer the Austrian Empire, but Austria-Hungary. Go straight for Lubuk again. Thank you. No, that's not good. Actually, at this point, I'm going to lower the budget for this, these guys, just because I don't think we'll need it as much. Yeah, I forgot that the Russians helped out the Austrians there. Alright, so we still got to be making more money. If we're making that much money, I'm going to lower taxes on the rich. I probably will eventually lower tariffs as well. I can't imagine these guys doing... Oh, hello. Silesian nationalists? Well, that would not be very good for Prussia. Yeah, we definitely need a strong, strong Germany. To help us out. Especially against the Russians. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, Russia! How you doing, big boy? The, the Brits love us. The French just hate our guts. I still have to play as Austria someday, though. Oh, come on. No, rebellion. No. 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 We're buddies. We're buddies. Come on, guys. We love each other. Lo ho love and kisses and hugs and... Obedience. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do we got here? What do they want? 
pro-military and landed... Do you want to vote? Non-socialist trade unions a lot, because I forgot I did actually choose state-controlled, so... Romanticist music is very good. I forget, I was looking through, like, the sultans of the Ottoman Empire, like, the 19th century, maybe the early 20th century. One of them was a composer, apparently, like, a music composer, so I thought that was really, really cool. That, uh... I forget how long he reigned, but there was a music composer, um, who was sultan, so... Very interesting. I'm sure some of you, some of you guys watching will know who it is. Me as a... Or I as a, uh, person who does not know much about Turkey or Turkish culture or the Ottoman history. I don't know that much. <laughs> oh, also, we gotta, we gotta do more education stuff. Spend it. And, but... Spend a little bit more on administrative stuff. Actually, it's probably a good idea to check on this now. Alright, so we're down here. Yep, you're done. And you're almost done. So, we're actually not looking too bad. I'm trying to maximize areas that where we have our culture. So, obviously a lot of Turkish places have it. Uh, that has it. This has it. I mean, if you're Turkish, you got a lot of bureaucrats. And that's exactly what we want. Gallipoli's got quite a few Greeks as well. And a few Bulgars. <gasps> we got railroads. I forgot about railroads. How did I forget about that stuff? Oh my goodness. I gotta build... I could save, save it for capitals, but they're just trying to build other stuff right now. Especially since I was taxing the, taxing the living heck out of them. Probably not that much money. I will spend the money to build more roads, especially uh, around here. Uh, these places, maybe... I don't trust these guys too much. I mean, th there's still quite a bit of Tur few Turks around here, so... I do want to help support those guys. The Bulgars, as long as... Can we actually get them as an accepted culture eventually? I'm kind of hoping that we can, but... We'll see. Trebizond's looking pretty good. Diyar Bakir. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm probably saying that wrong, but hey, that's what I'm here for. Not looking too bad? Yeah, well, I mean, in time, eventually, we will get all these, like, places under us. Like, we'll get all these islands, probably, once we go to war with the Dutch, like, in the late game. Because once Great Wars happen, and we just make enough babies and make enough stuff, really just a big enough military... We'll be able to take this stuff over. Hopefully. Cost it too much? Alright, lower it again. Uh, we need... Oh, hello. Ionian Islands. Yeah, I still need to take out these guys. Let me know in the comments. Should I just take these guys out and try to annex them as much as possible? Or should I just sphere them? Because if we sphere, sphere them, we still get, like, resources... Their resources, or access to the resources. If we just take them out, that might, might be pretty cool. But, I don't know. I'm open to either one. It'd be nice if we could just fully annex them, but I don't think we need any decision to form any, like, any cool country, like a pan Turanist nation or empire, so... There's really not a whole lot of decisions here. It'd be cool and all, but... I really wish there was a religious map mode too here, but maybe that's just me. Cool, let's take you off for too many pieces of artillery. And at least we're, we're literally reforming the army right now, so you guys gotta go back over there. You guys looking, well, not great. Not bad, though. Combine these guys up. So we got one, two, three. So it's one, one, one. Uh, we got one up here too. So we need three more infantry. If we can. Oh, actually. Yeah, three infantry. One, two, three. And then we need four of this. One, two, three, four. There you go. We're fourth in the roll for military. Nice. And we're almost done with bone. And which I'll probably go ahead and start doing Balinese. Or maybe even these guys over here. I don't know. Probably Balinese though. Ship's looking not too bad. Slightly better education. And are people leaving our nation? Well, a little bit, yeah. 400 people left in the past month through the U.S., Mexico, and the Argentine Confederation. But I suppose that's probably not the worst. Police had disturbed. Things have gone from bad to worse where the colonial police, and while in pursuit of two local suspected of murdering a colonial official, have happened to disturb a shrine of some importance to, to local religious religiosity. Natives in the area infuriated over the perceived lack of respect for the religion. Who gives a hoot about the religion in Lebanon? This won't backfire on, on us at all, will it? We have a colonial arrest. If you'd like to read about this one, go right ahead. I don't want to lose prestige. We can't afford to lose prestige. So. Hungary's losing people. What? Is it only us that people want to leave? Actually, how much of our population is Turkish now? Because we're, we're 22.96. We're still the majority. But if we can get that any higher... That'd be nice. And actually, with HPM, are there options to eventually <clears throat> find that many of the minorities don't exist here anymore? Or have moved, we'll put it like that. They moved 
beyond the Earth? Um, there's gotta be, right? There's gotta be. It's HPM. Now, there might be an HFM. I'm sure it has to be an HFM. But, hmm. Okay, is Austria still fighting somebody? Oh, they're still fighting these guys. Okay. How are they losing? How are they losing? How are they losing? It's minus 1%. They literally have no divisions. Austria, we know. No. Like, our guys beat you up quite a bit. Really, the Prussians, not us. But the Prussians did, and the Brits did. How are you losing? Come on home, guys. No way. I do not want to spend my points. They might pop up here. Come on. Yeah, I'll spend the points. Whatever. Oh, wait, they... What are we fighting? Wait, do they have more territory? Oh, we didn't take everything over. It's right. It's down here, too. Okay. I didn't see that. I thought we were done. It's alright. As long as we're making more money, that's what matters the most. That's what I really care about the most. Uh, roads, maybe, perhaps? Yes. Even down here, we can build some roads. That'd be very, very good. Definitely down here. I love the roads. Some places here really can't afford roads. Man, we can't We can't really afford roads, can we? Nice civil violence. If, if they're killing each other, you know, you know. There's, there's ways to remove people that we don't like. There we go. My gosh, we need some more. And Sachs Meiningen has founded anarcho liberals or anarcho capitalists. Oh boy. German and anarcho capitalists. Fills you with pride, doesn't it? Hmm. Two Sicilies, you're not allied with us anymore, huh? They're ninth in the world, so they're on the cusp of becoming a great power. Would you like an alliance? Oh, no, you won't. How dare you? Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Herbal, Herbi? Culture down here is fairly heavily Kurdish. Yeah, this place is next. For roads, and then down here. If we can afford them. Because we've almost got a lot of this area under construction with roads. We just don't have a lot of money. But we do have 10% of our population that can read. Happy 1851, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. We're getting close. We're getting closer. Come on, get them roads done. Oh, and one more month has gone by. We have about 15 infamy. Not bad. Not great. And... There we go. Let's do this. They like us. Yes. There we go. So, well, the Dutch still have a lot of areas, but we're looking not too bad in Southeast Asia or these islands right here. And we'll put a port right there. Cool. But we'll end today's episode there, in which tomorrow we'll probably continue expanding and trying to get more colonies down here, maybe even Ethiopia. But if you enjoyed today's episode, it was kind of painful for our military. But regardless, if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we have more fun with the Ottoman Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.